Hi, I'm Tim Brenz. I'm Assistant Professor of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Michigan. And I'm also affiliated with the Biointerfaces Institute and the Neuroscience Graduate Program. We seek to develop interfaces with the peripheral nervous system to restore function and also examine systems level neurophysiology. So really what we would try to do is see if we can help people improve function in their pelvic organs and also develop and collaborate on ways uh, to really interface with small nerves. And in doing so, we're ultimately potentially helping tens of millions of people in the country who have bladder problems, sexual problems, and other types of pelvic problems. To do that in our lab, we learn how to do different types of surgeries. Um, we work together in a collaborative environment, both with other biomedical engineers, but also with electrical engineers. We get to interact with doctors to understand how better uh, to apply the stimulation we're doing and also the clinical relevance of, of the different types of research in, in our lab. There is a significant population of people with neurogenic bladder problems, that is they might have spinal cord injury or stroke or other dysfunctions that leads to bladder problems. But beyond that, there's a much larger patient population that has problems with their bladders. Yeah, so we work together with electrical engineers over at the uh, Murray Net Application Center to design these flexible polymer electrodes. Uh, they're kind of the experts in fabrication, but they bring their electrodes here and uh, we sort of take over the neurosurgery and uh, neural data analysis. We expose the nerves and we apply these electrodes uh, and then what well, we monitor the animal's uh, physiology and uh, functioning of their organs, we collect action potentials through the electrodes uh, and then analyze that data. So another primary goal in our lab is to do neuromodulation for female sexual dysfunction. For women with sexual dysfunction, there's no good treatments out there. Uh, and so our goal is to see if we can stimulate certain nerves and help improve pelvic blood flow, um, and maybe give them better quality of life as well. I conduct preclinical studies to evaluate in vivo how peripheral nerve stimulation impacts sexual functioning by primarily looking at how vaginal blood flow changes in response to stimulation. I also analyze our clinical study and look at how real women are being affected by peripheral neuromodulation and if it's improving their sexual lives. So I really like this project because it's targeting a very underserved population. Female sexual dysfunction affects around 40 to 45 percent of women and about 10 to 20 percent of women have the type of dysfunction that my research could aim to treat. So household names like Viagra and Cialis are fairly common but I don't think anyone can name a household name for the equivalent for female sexual dysfunction. So I'm aiming to bridge that gap a little bit and help these women who have been struggling for a long time but it's not being talked about. Yeah, so I think the reason that I joined this lab uh, as opposed to other groups is when I was first learning about neural engineering, uh, it seemed like the big projects that everyone was talking about were um, being able to use your brain to control uh, you know, artificial arms or robotic limbs and that kind of thing. And that stuff's really important and interesting. Uh, but when you talk to uh, spinal cord injury patients, as much as they want restorative limb function, they equally want uh, these other organ systems to work again, their bladder, uh, the bowel, their sexual function. And it seemed like an underserved area that now that we have all sorts of new advanced technologies uh, and advanced ways to uh, fabricate electrodes, we kind of have these new opportunities to serve these things that maybe people don't think about uh, with these patients.